He's charged with murder and the death of his son, who was just 15 months old at the time. Today in court, witnesses testified how even before the boy died, they feared something was wrong. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia is live in downtown Los Angeles with that story. Sid. The little boy, Gael Herrera Medina, was just 15 months old when he was murdered nearly three years ago. The boy's mother, currently in state prison. Today, the preliminary hearing for the father, a hearing that will determine if this case goes to trial. The first witness to take the stand in the preliminary hearing of Jose Juan Herrera was the next door neighbor. She provided the ring video that allegedly shows Herrera holding his lifeless 15 month old son, Gael Herrera Medina. Jasmine Aguirre said she feared for her safety being in the courtroom with Herrera, but with Herrera watching Aguirre fighting back tears, recalled the day of May 12, 2021, the day she heard loud noises from the apartment next door. She says Herrera went to her door holding the toddler. The guy comes right behind me with the baby. A nurse who examined Gael during a doctor's visit before his death testified she was concerned about injuries the boy had suffered. She also stated that the boy's mother didn't seem to be concerned about her son's injuries during the exam. That visit was very, it, it bothered me a lot. I'm not going to say about that. The mother seemed very not emotionally attached to this child, which really struck me and did it. Gael and his two older sisters were in foster care for a short while. An uncle and grandparents on the mother's side were able to regain custody. Then the boy's mother regained custody. Gustavo Medina, the boy's uncle, testified that when his sister, Noemi Medina, would bring Gael around, they all noticed something was wrong. When she would bring him around, you could see bruises on him. Gael died one month after DCFS returned him to his mother's care. Ring video allegedly shows Herrera holding his 50-month-old son and running towards an ambulance. The toddler was taken to L.A. County USC Medical Center. That's where emergency room doctors, including ER pediatricians, examined Gael. Sadly, he was pronounced dead the next day. Prosecutor Jonathan Hatami asked one of the doctors to describe some of the injuries. The doctors testified today that there were signs of strangulation, and that the baby boy died from a traumatic brain injury. So bruising on his cheek, and uh, did he have anything on his forehead? Yes. What was that? He had a hematoma on his forehead. Now the baby's mother, Noemi Medina, is currently in state prison serving a four-year sentence for felony child abuse. Jose Herrera's preliminary hearing is expected to wrap up tomorrow. Then on the same day, the judge is expected to rule if there's enough evidence for this case to move forward. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, I'm Sid Garcia, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.